So we're back down in South London, just got off the train at New Eltham. And of course, I think, I mean, look, if you haven't guessed what we're doing already within the first three, four seconds of this video, we are back out river hunting down here. An interesting river that I'd never heard of that came up in a comment. It must have been a comment on the Quaggy video from, ah, I'll put your name on the screen. Um, suggesting I do a walk along the River Shuttle. Never heard of the River Shuttle. It's a tributary of the Cray, the River Cray, which I haven't actually walked along. So we're going to walk along a tributary before I've actually walked along that river. And um, needless to say, I am so excited about this today. And there is a walking route that's been created and uh, marked out, annotated onto Google, onto OpenStreetMap, um, which is brilliant. But I'm already deviating from it. <laughs> because I can see that there's a bit of the river that on, on OpenStreetMap itself and on Google Maps, you, it looks like you can see the river, whereas the walking route is, starts up on Averley Hill Park. It doesn't seem to connect with the river till a little bit later. So seeing as I've come off the train station here, I think I can find the river just up here, I think. I am a little bit wary, of course, because uh, the river is running across a number of sports grounds, which was a real feature of the River Quaggy Walk, wasn't it? Which I did pick up not very far away from here, so it's got a very familiar feel to it at this stage. So we're once again intersecting with the Green Chain Walk, which is good news actually, because it means we'll have access at some point up here. And here we have the uh, Charlton Athletic uh, Training Ground. It must be training today because there's a lot of cars going in there. Where are they at the moment, Charlton? I think they're in the same league as Wickham, aren't they? Wickham are going really well this season. So rather than take the green chain, I'm going to try and find the river from going into the University of Greenwich campus because I think there is a footpath. This is a lane, apparently. Although it is gated, so it's private property, but I might be able to pick up the, uh, pick up the footpath that leads to the river. I only recently found out that my uh, Uncle Stan played in goal for Charlton Athletic, I think their reserves or their, like, their under-19 team, and turned down a professional contract with them. <laughs> I don't know why. It's interesting, isn't it? He was, a, he was a great man, my Uncle Stan. Big fella as well, so he was a goalkeeper, yeah. And I think, <laughs> I think I found the river. Yeah, here it is. The River Shuttle. Wow. In this little concrete culvert here. I don't think it's going to come out very well because it's very dark down in that gully there. We will get better views of it later on. You see, it's really trickling along. I think there are a couple of little branches of it here, and we're very close to the source on Avery Hill, which is beneath the ground, I believe. Wow. So I'm, um, I'm going to declare that the deity of the River Shuttle is a goalkeeper. There's <laughs> a goalkeeper who plays for. Charlton Athletic, or who has played for Charlton Athletic. It's the perfect River Shuttle deity. Actually, might be able to see it over here. Yeah, and I think this sort of ditch here, running through the university campus, is also part of the, the River Shuttle. It feeds the shuttle anyway. We're gonna we'll walk a little bit up Avery Hill before continuing on. It does seem to be little more than a ditch here. I don't think, I think this must be a little, a little feeder into the uh, into the shuttle near its source i'm just making that up really i am going to connect with the shuttle riverway very shortly but i'm just going rogue at this stage because i want to see the water and it looks like the shuttle riverway <laughs> seems to avoid uh, the traces of the water at the early part probably because it's creating a nice walk for people that is based around the river and uh you know, it's kind of straightened out the route a little bit to take in some parks, which if you're writing a walking guide for a river, that's kind of what you do. Tom Bolton's Lost Rivers book does that a bit, I think, because people don't want to do what I do in these videos and constantly zigzag through the houses. Even I get fed up with that after a while. But um, I think early on, establish a relationship with the river, with the watercourse, pay homage to its deity so it welcomes you in to its world, not into the river. Where do I go here? Mm. 
So a little bit of a walk along the main road here. Then we turn off and we should see the river not very far away. And this is the, uh, the second one of these um, Christmas themed knitted post boxes that I've seen today. They are delightful, if slightly out of season. Time to change for a spring theme, I feel. Some sort of grand old house just through there in the grounds. I don't know if that's still the University of Greenwich over there. There's a number of sort of institutions which have their sports grounds down here. Right, somewhere down this road, I think I can get to a little fragment of the river, the River Shuttle. Great name for a river, isn't it? So I seem to have walked past the river, but from this point here, you can see down that we're looking into River Valley. You can see where it crosses the, the road. There's a definite dip in the road, which is great. So it must be under the ground, but let's just go back and have another look. Yeah, right in the low point of that dip, here it is here. You can't really see it, can you? But there is the river down there running beside this church here. And maybe we can see it this way. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say there she is, there he is, because we've decided that he's a goalkeeper. He plays for Charlton, but it could be Charlton Athletic ladies team, revealing a little bit of inherent bias there. And this is where it continues on the other side of the street, which is called South Spring. All the clues are there, aren't they? It is quite hidden, and you can see there where it's picking up a bit of runoff from the road. There's a little, little gully which is joining it there, a little I don't well, I imagine that's just a drain coming into the river. Such a beautiful day today. I'm tempted to uh, change hat and go with the baseball cap. Is that going a bit crazy? It's only, what's the date today? The 5th of February. It feels, well, it's cold in the shade, but really warm in the sun. It's beautiful. So the, the road back there was closed off with police tape and there were all these police officers and I was like oh no how am I going to get into the park so I stopped to speak to the police lady and she said oh, yeah you can get into the park just don't go into the road just walk around the police tape and the barriers uh, basically meaning I had to go into someone's drive and jump over the wall but just don't go into the road and I went oh dear well what's happened and she looked at me she went I don't know sarcastically and the officers laughed because I wasn't looking past the police tape once I did, I realised I could see there had been a massive car accident. The car was all smashed up and there was a bike lying across the road. Where's the river? That's the question. I think it's just down here. Well, this is great. There's a, there's a little bridge here over the river. Let's go and have a look. This is our first proper clear, real clear sighting. Oh, isn't it delightful? Look. Isn't it lovely? It does raise the question which someone asked in my recent q and A. I I didn't, uh, I'm not sure if I answered it or not, is when is a river a brook and when is a brook a stream and all the rest of it? Because this is a river, but yet it's smaller than some of the brooks that we've followed, isn't it? So why is this not the, the shuttle brook? Maybe it was the shuttle brook. Maybe there's a geologist or a geographer in the, uh, in the comments who can answer. It's really great when you can get down right beside the water makes a big difference in a river walk when you can make a connection with it. I know there are some people that would actually get into the water. Uh, I'm respectful enough to stay out of it. Also, it's February and I don't want to get wet. So we'll go back over this bridge, just around the houses for a short distance, and that's when we'll reconnect with both the river and the uh, the Shuttleway Walk. Is that what they call it? The River, the Shuttle Riverway. That's it. And the great local information boards here tell us about this park here. Parish Wood is one of the surviving old um, uh, sections of wet woodland that covered the surrounding area. And it's the uh, parish boundary. It's the, today it's the boundary between Bexley and uh, Greenwich Borough. And here it says, look, the River Shuttle follows through the south of this park from its source in Abbey Hill Park through Blackburn and Seek up to join the River Cray in Bexley. You can walk the route of the river about five and a half miles by following the sign posted River Shuttle Walk. So hopefully we'll pick these up soon. Well, 
And here is our river again, running through the houses. And soon, hopefully up here, we'll pick up some uh, shuttle riverway signage. That'd be a real treat, one to add to the collection. I have to say, it doesn't have the greatest smell in the world, which probably isn't that surprising, given that it's going to pick up a lot of runoff from the road. And also what my friend Kate Spencer Professor Kate Spencer told me about uh, grey water pollution sort of that comes from the houses here, not sewage, but from like washing machines and dishwashers and that kind of thing. There you go, and hidden amongst the foliage, we got our shuttle riverway signs there. Love them, classic a new river sign to add to our collection. Now going to take us into Hollyoak Wood Park. These are all new places to me. This is all undiscovered land for me down here. And I love the way someone's made this little stepping stone bridge across the river so you can get to the other bank there and that footpath on the other side behind the garages. This is classic suburbia, this is. This is classic river walking. And these little urban rivers, suburban rivers, create their own worlds, don't they? Their own little secret realms. And you can totally see why Ben Aronovich conjured up deities for these rivers deities that, that live amongst us. They're such potent forces in the environment, aren't they? The shuttle does have a tributary, so I wonder if this is it here, making its confluence with the shuttle. If so, this is an auspicious location. A fella, a fella just stopped to tell me that there are some big egrets feeding in the river just up here on the other side of the road, which is exciting because I wouldn't have necessarily identified them as egrets. <laughs> just gone big white bird, not a heron. <laughs> and there it is. An egret wading along the river shuttle. Some more great shuttle riverway signage. And now the river takes us through Willersley Park. Just a really beautiful sequence of parks and open spaces here, isn't it? This walk's got a really beautiful feel to it. I don't know, because it's the lovely sunlight. Although it's got cold again now, maybe it's, there's a slight whiff of spring about it. Certainly a whiff coming from the river, but I don't know, something really lovely about this walk today. I hope it comes across in the video. Another embroidered post box over here. This is great. This is a, a space themed post box. Look, I love the little aliens on this one. This is great. And now through Marlborough Park and we leave the river ever so slightly here before we meet it once again on the other side in yet another park. This is oh, glorious. Fella on his bike stopped when he saw me videoing the egret and then he came back up to me then and talked about it and said how lovely it is and he got a photograph on his phone and he said oh I often see an egret at that spot, still pretty rare down here in South London. Isn't it lovely the way that a simple thing of a bird visiting a river can bring forth a really lovely social interaction. Two, in fact, social interactions. It's lovely. And this is a really beautiful park here. This is lovely. I'm quite beguiled by this section of South East London. 
our shuttle riverway sign is pointing in this direction. This is Burnt Oak Lane. Sunset is in just over half an hour, about 35 minutes. I love this time of day. This is always the best part of a walk. A bit more road walking to do now before we get to Bexley Woods. Well, hopefully for sunset, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Not a site you see every day, a pylon in the middle of a housing estate. It's pretty unusual. <laughs> So it's pretty easy to see where the river is running along the gully in this road here. Albany Road. And I very nearly walked straight past this stink pipe here that is slightly been truncated and shorn off. But here's a great bit of urban infrastructure, a stink pipe, which is signs that there's a sewer here and it's allowing the gases to escape and a pile on behind it. Wow, bit of a jackpot. There you go, the water is sucking in the setting sun. Always a delightful sight. We're just starting to lose the light, but you get a bit more light after sunset this time of year, so I think we're going to be okay. Not sure we'll get to the confluence with the cray, but we'll keep cracking on. In my uh, recent Q&A, a lot of people did ask me why I don't start my walks earlier in the winter. In the summer, uh, it's not such an issue. And there'll be comments here, I'm sure. <laughs> Why don't you start earlier? There wasn't a craggy walk. Any walk, really, where I walk into the dark. But um, really, this activity for me, in its essence, is about stepping outside the timetable, about not being bound by such things and accepting what happens as a consequence. As Ian Sinclair always says, you know, the walk is the walk. It's not about getting from this point to that point. It's about the experience of the walk and not being bound by timetables and convention and all those kind of things. It's about stepping outside of all of that. So if I'm overly preoccupied throughout the day with, if I don't get on this train and start by this time, then I'm not going to get to here, but it sort of defeats the object a bit. I know it can be a bit disappointing if I don't feel like I've completed the walk, but I accept it. And yeah, I just thought I'd explain that to you. I don't like such things to kind of overly preoccupy my mind. And I love walking into the sunset, regardless of the time of year. So I start later in the summer, because the sunsets are later. And yeah, I love it. Oh, the sunset is going to be magic, hopefully. I don't know, I've not been to Bexley Woods before, so I don't know if it's on a high ground and you get a good sunset, or whether you're just in the trees and it'll just be dark. But either way, it's going to be lovely. <laughs> I have just made a, ha a hilarious mistake. Um, after I've done that piece about the walk is the walk, stepping outside there, I got to the lock gate there and thought, hang on a moment, that's not on uh, the map. The, the, the footpath carries straight on. And what's happened is that I took a slight shortcut when I joined, when I went down Albany Road to join the river there, rather than go around in a dog lift to get to the same point. But what's happened is when I've come down to the river in Albany Road, I've turned the wrong way and I've walked back and I've reached Sidcup Golf Club. So I thought I was on the edge of Bexley Woods and I'm not. So I'm going to have to, <laughs> I'm going to, have to do it again, which means it may be dark by the time we get to Bexley Woods. So I'm just going to, <laughs> I'm just going to walk as quickly as I can back the way I've just walked. It's not a huge distance, but it's quite funny after what I was just saying. Hilarious, really. Hilarious. Just goes to show. There's a moral there about trying to take shortcuts. Catches you out eventually. I thought the river was flowing in the wrong direction. In reality, it's only added a short distance onto the walk, but it just might be significant given the time of day. Still gonna make me laugh for the, well, for whenever I think about this walk, it will make me chuckle. We've got another 
stink pipe and pylon combo here. See the stink pipe there, just to the right of the pylon. Following the river, you see, you see that relationship between infrastructure and rivers. Learned that from the brilliant Nick Papadimitriou. This is another beautiful little stretch of parkland beside the river here. This has real been a kind of sequence of delights along the river, hasn't it? Here's another stink pike beside the river here. Not a lopped off stink pike. And there is the river just down there, clearly showing the relationship between the course of the sewer and the course of the river. And that's another Nick Papadimitrio bit of info there, bit of knowledge. <laughs> And the fast flowing waters of the River Shuttle will lead us into Bexley Woods. It's a shame I haven't got more time to walk around in Bexley Woods, maybe for another day. It's always good to be in the woods, even for a brief period of time. And this is the widest we've seen the shuttle running free of a concrete culvert. These beautiful meanders here. Wow, what a beautiful pink sky. A glorious sunset. We now go down Riverdale Road. How perfect is that? Look at that moon there. I think it's a full moon breaking through which makes me think of Steve Moore and his amazing book Somnium, which is set up on the top of Shooter's Hill, not far from where we started our walk today. So it all feels perfect. And the river is running just down there, across the middle of the frame. And the great river reference here, Shuttle Mead. Perfect. And now into Love Lane. So many great street names along this walk. It now feels like we're being guided as much by the moon as by the river shuttle. You can hear the roar of the distant road of the A2, which is where the shuttle runs alongside the A2. It's right there that it makes its confluence with the River Cray. We're just gonna navigate this dark path and we're there. So here's the river, you can barely see it there in the darkness. I can see it quite well with the naked eye, but unfortunately the camera, even with the help of the light, doesn't really pick up much. It's just on its final leg of its journey before it makes its confluence with the River Cray. Now we have to walk beside the A2 Rochester Way. Wow, this is a mighty road, isn't it? You know you're near the edge of London when you encounter a massive Holiday Inn there. I'd like to stay in that Holiday Inn sometime. I reckon it'd be full of ennui, but we're close to the confluence. Hopefully you can see some glistening light in the river here on its very final stretch before it makes this confluence with the cray, with the traffic thundering past beside it. But the river has more power than all those cars combined. So we have reached our destination, the confluence of the river shuttle with the cray. Unfortunately, you can't really see it there, but look, these ribbons have been tied to the railing. That cannot be a coincidence. It must be an offering at this auspicious spot here. Isn't it delightful? And there's the River Cray down there in the inky darkness, which we'll have to walk one day. And uh, someone's made an offering here as well of a tin of energy drink. Of course you can't see, oh look, there's a fox down there. It's a shame you can't see it, isn't that delightful? But I can take photographs, so I'll drop those in. Well, it's amazing to get here to the confluence. 
even if it is pitch black. In fact, actually, maybe the darkness makes it more special to seeing that fox slide its way along the riverbank and to drawing the energy of this <laughs> really intense road here and the beautiful light of the full moon, Steve Moore's full moon, his somnium here, that shone across Shooter's Hill. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this river shuttle shuffle. <laughs> Somebody's got to write a river shuttle shuffle. That was a glorious walk. What a beautiful day. These river walks really do deliver. And thank you so much for the suggestion for that walk, Roy. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Really delivered. What a great day. Right now I've got to find a station. I think I'm going to go to Bexley via the Holiday Inn Express. So thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon, to the members here, the channel members on YouTube. And as I always like to say, I look forward to seeing the next walk, wherever that may be. Who knows? Who knows? I'll be dipping into the comments.